my office is a mess. Look at all these things. It's a mess today. But that's so there we go, guys. Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> I'm actually laughing to my laughing at myself right now because I had planned to record this, but then you know how it is. I forgot. So good morning. This is um, me recording a day in my life, but I'm hosting my first event at work. So join me. I'm actually on my way to the bus stop. So if you hear the cars, you know that. So yeah, this is it, guys. Watch now. With gambling, just enjoy yourself as I take you through this busy, busy, busy day. You can ride. So guys, I just got to my office and um, let's do the final touches. This is the day. My office is a mess. Look at all these things. It's a mess today. But those are the t-shirts that I'm going to give people. These are the arrows that I need to put outside. All of this i need to do it today so let's get preparing okay guys i need to, to do my open my morning prayer but i forgot to tell you what today is about today is excuse me today is an open day where students or people that want to know about sa i don't i don't know if i should say the name but we need to know about this organization will come and they will learn and then they will just interact with us, they ask us questions, we'll tell them. So we've, I've been advertising, I just hope that today is the day that it God gets to work out. Um, yeah, so this is it guys. This is the day where which the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Let me do my, my morning prayer and let me start preparing. So there we go, guys. Don't tell me So, guys, this is it. Um, okay, Tapa set it up. We're almost done.
So this is it guys, I'm done now, I'm actually just, I just picked my bag, I'm ready to go home and you know, just enjoy uh, the weekend, my baby is happy, but you know I worked hard for this, so I should as well enjoy it, um, yeah this is it guys, um, I'm just grateful for today, I thank God that you know I've been praying, it is my first event, did I mention that? It is my first event um, hosting this, so I was very nervous, but it went out well. I loved the, what happened today. Everything is just, I just saw God, and thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. So I'm now going home, and yeah, I don't know if I have mentioned what the event was about. I don't know, I'll have to go back and see. It, we are basically just letting people know more about us, and that's what i do i'm a marketing officer i'm a business development officer so yeah this is it i'm sorry i'm just talking a lot i'm just tired and i just want to go home just look for a meal to eat and just enjoy and just thank god you know thank god for everything Amen. Hey blog reader, it's been a while since I did this audio blogs, but I'm so glad that this week I managed to make it and I'm doing a little catch up with you. So first thing first, you know how it is to those that haven't paid their subscriptions, please do. It's $5 for six months and $10 for the whole year. Pay via Echo Cash, Inbox or World Remit to those that are out of Zimbabwe. The name is Petronella Anisunduru and the number is plus 263-774-173-345. Today's audio blog is titled, Hey You, God Makes No Mistakes. It is amazing how last Sunday, the one that is before this one, my pastor preached about a topic linked to what I wanted to write in my blog. To me, it was like God was confirming that I should go ahead with this one. I guess someone is about to be blessed today. He preached about the power of inspiration. The reading came from the book of Job. It was in Job 32 verse 6 to 8. The part where Elihu says, I am young and you are old. I say days should speak and multitude of years should teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in a man and the inspiration of the Almighty gives them understanding. He went on to explain how sometimes we say certain things under inspiration. For example, when Ruth said to Naomi, For wherever you go, I'll go, and wherever you lodge, I'll lodge. Inspiration can lead us to an even bigger blessing. Personally, I've learned that there are things in our lives that we find ourselves loving and we don't know why. The habits we develop and spend time on, but we cannot point out where the desire came from. What we know is, with or without money, we enjoy doing it. We sometimes enjoy going to a certain place or being in a particular space. 
when doing that very thing we feel at home and we're at peace we just love it so much i recently had an understanding on why certain events in my life had to happen the way they did it took this one incident that made me realize that everything that ever happened in my life was god led and god designed god knew in 2024 i'll be here sitting here recording this audio blog and doing exactly what i'm doing jeremiah 1 verse 5 he says before i formed you in the womb i knew you before you were born i sanctified you i ordained you a prophet to the nations last week i had the privilege of recording a voiceover for marketing purposes where i work I then went on to create a complimentary promotional video. Apart from my personal work, this was my first time recording and editing in a professional setting. However, when the opportunity was presented to me, I quickly took it and within a week I'd finished the task. That task reminded me of how in 2019, after I listened to someone's podcast and said to myself, I also want to host mine. In 2020, I launched the Hey You podcast. I love speaking to people and this gave me the chance to share my ideas. I was also reminded of how I fell in love with the YouTube videos during COVID-19 lockdown. In 2022, after buying my iPhone, I decided to start my YouTube journey. Relating all this to my job it now made sense. I realized that it was God. It has always been him who gave me these ideas simply because he saw pity in five years. In 10 years, he knew that one day I would need these skills. He saw Patty working where her job would require her to record voiceovers and gave her a podcast idea and an audio blog idea so that when that time comes, she will be ready and be able to do it. Having a YouTube channel helped me with video editing skills and that prepared me for what I am currently doing. God knew I will be here doing what i'm doing so he started the journey way back most times when people talk about a miracle they expect it to be always so big and extraordinary how someone was raised from the dead healed from a life-threatening disease or blessed with a car whilst all those are amazing testimonies let us not rule out those small but simple testimonies like how god inspires us to do certain assignments learn an instrument or start a swimming lesson knowing that one day this is the only thing that will keep you going one day you'll find yourself remembering on those moments and you realize it was all god my prayer to you today is my prayer to you today is i hope you see god even in the simplest of things i hope you see him when you look at your child your nieces and nephews i hope you feel him in your home when you're able to laugh with your family i hope you see god when you're doing your job so well never take that for granted another person cannot do it the way you do it and another person is longing for that life that you have my other prayer to you is that starting from today never miss that inspiration when god drops it in your heart the idea might be a seed today i hope you never throw it away but rather nourish it until it becomes a big tree then one day it will be your source of survival no matter how small or stupid it may look i pray you choose to try god makes no mistakes i wish you all the best and enjoy your week.